Hey what's up guys, the standard lock screen on Android looks and works great but if you are getting bored of it here are 5 alternative lock screens that you can use to add more functionality or even get a better design. Let's get started. First we have AC display. So many lock screen apps try to achieve a minimal look but I think that AC display does it best. I mean just look at it with a black background and a simple white clock. It also has a new way of handling notifications. Just tap on the icon to have a quick glance and swipe down to dismiss the notification. Let's jump into settings to see what we can change. Here you can set the notification priority, there is minimum and maximum. You can also change the interface like you can add widgets, add a wallpaper, add a dynamic background that is if there is music playing the artwork will be blurred in the background. You can set the icon size and even set the unlock animation color. Moving on we have next lock screen by Microsoft. It also sticks to minimalism but adds a few extra functions. As you can see at the bottom we have quick access to 5 of the most used apps. Swipe up and you get even more apps, toggle controls and even a brightness slider. The wallpaper is changed daily as the lock screen uses Bing's wallpaper of the day. Swipe down to unlock your phone. In the settings menu you can change a lot. You can add a screen lock, change the wallpaper and even choose which notifications and widgets appear on the lock screen. Next we have the start lock screen app. So this lock screen may not have the most appealing design but it gives you access to a lot right on the lock screen. Starting with the left hand side where you get a few different icons. You can swipe each to get some quick access. So there's quick settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth etc. There's also a music player to control your music and a search bar if you want to quick search anything right from the lock screen a gallery if you want to see your photos from the lock screen and even a few stickers so what you, how you use the stickers is by just holding on one and dragging it to the lock screen I don't know how they will be helpful but you can actually do that and you can also add different things such as Twitter feed and even Facebook feed on the lock screen and if you think that's not enough Tap on the lock sign for more. Just drag the circle to different icons to reveal a bunch of your favorite apps as you can see over here. Favorite. As you can see there's Gmail. All of them. After that we have high locker. As you can see it looks pretty amazing with a minimal clock and a white circle at the bottom. Tapping on the circle will reveal a few extra shortcuts. Swipe right and you get to see upcoming events and reminders along with the next day's weather. The settings menu also brings a few extra options such as changing the unlock style, clock style as you can see the menu to choose from, the message seen on the lock screen and even the slider shortcuts as you can see you can assign 5 of them. Finally we have Go Locker which is all about applying different themes to get a unique lock screen. So there are very many themes to choose from as you can see there is minimal, colorful and even live lock screens. Again in the settings one you can tweak a lot. You can choose which notifications you want to see on the lock screen, change the wallpaper and also hide the status bar, choose the unlock effect and even the sound unlock sound and even add security measures. As you can see you have three options, pin, pattern or even gesture. You can also add a floating music player on the lock screen. That wraps it up guys, thanks for watching and meet you guys in my next one. Until then, peace.